Good morning, St. Thomas More. It's Mrs. Vesperini coming to you. I've missed you. I've missed being on the announcements. So I'm going to take this opportunity to introduce the video that I've created for our grade nines with respect to selecting your courses for grade 10. The video moves you through every step of the way, answers many of the questions that you may have and ones that you have already reached out to me about. So please pay close attention to the video. It is posted on our LMS grade nine guidance um, site as well. So without further ado, our grade nine to grade 10 course selection video just for you. Hello, my grade nines, soon to be grade 10 St. Thomas More Knights. Welcome to our course selection slideshow presentation. I'm making this very brief. It is more so a reminder of how most of you did the same thing last year in your elementary schools. So without further do let's move on a quick reminder and a recap of what we need in order to graduate in our four or five years here at st thomas more 18 compulsory credits 12 elective credits 40 hours of christian community service and the grade 10 provincial literacy literacy test either passed as a written test or later on in your senior grades if not successful uh, you will be expected to pass an Ontario literacy course that we will set you up with. Teachers recommendations and achievement implications. This is really, really important for you to pay attention to. So what we want you to do is to read your teachers comments on report cards. They are there to help you navigate the appropriate stream level for success in your following year talk to those teachers they know what they're doing and they want the best for you don't forget that a compulsory credit that was not successfully earned needs to be repeated until it's passed if you did not pass french you will be required to take grade nine french again as an example if you did not pass grade nine math you are required to pass grade nine which means you must take the course over again potentially at a different stream level and pass that course to advance to grade 10. finally ensure that all required courses are selected and this little presentation will help with that just another reminder that all of our indicators in our course outlines are actually placed here as well so when we are reading through our co course codes we need to familiarize ourselves once again with each stream o in a course code represents open p for applied that will lead you to college level classes in the senior grades d for academic leading to university level courses in your senior grades and L for locally developed, which will lead you to E, known as workplace course. Okay, so here are compulsory courses that I would love to remind you of earning over the course of your four or five year career as a student of St. Thomas More. So we're looking at earning four credits in English and of course, each of those credits would be credits that you earn one per grade. You are also looking at earning three credits in math, two of which will be grade nine and 10. And then of course, a minimum of one more in grade 11. Um, we would love to see everyone study a grade 12 math as well. Two credits in science, both grade nine and 10 are prerequisites to earning a grade 11 science credit. And again, please consider in the senior years studying another science. It, uh, it definitely will bode well for you. We are looking at earning one credit and many of you have already done so in um, your Canadian geography. Come next year, you'll be taking Canadian history 
That is a grade 10 course. Notice the three different course codes that are offered. P for applied, D for academic, and notice the PL for an applied ESL course. You are also to earn one credit in French. Many of you have already successfully done so. If you are not successful, you need to consider maybe studying it in the summer so that you can still enjoy two new electives come your grade 10 year. Otherwise, you will be repeating it in grade 10. You also need to earn one credit in both of the following, the arts and health and physical education. Many of you have studied both of these this year and are welcome and encouraged to do so in the following years. Come grade 10, you're going to be asked to earn half a credit in two subjects and they, they basically go hand in hand and those two are career studies and civics. By earning half a credit in both of those, that equates to a full credit, obviously, my mathematicians. GLC 209 is a course code for career studies. CHV 209 is the, career, is the course code for your civics. In addition to the um, compulsory credits that uh, we just reviewed, this slide shows us the additional credits in three different groups. Group one indicates an additional credit in English, like a writer's craft course, another French, a native or another language course. Uh, uh, group one also uh, includes social sciences and the humanities, Canadian and World Studies along with co-op. Group two is an additional phys ed, art, business, much like your BTT course that some of you have already studied, co-op or French. And finally, group three is an additional senior science, a technology, a computer studies or French and again, or co-op to the courses that I brought up earlier. Okay. So we're looking at what I, I love. I love this personal planning chart. And you can take a snapshot of this, then um, print it off if you can, and, but use it to make your plans. Because what we're looking at, obviously this, this term is, in our planning is the grade 10 year. And it outlines eight boxes and six of those eight, much like grade nine, must be selected as basically your compulsory courses. So quickly, religious education, English at the grade 10 level, if you passed English at the grade nine level, math in its three different streams, science in its three different streams, the Canadian history I already spoke of, and we have the careers and civics. Then you are left with two electives, again, much like you did in grade nine. Okay, and if you fill that in before you begin your selections, it'll just be an easier process once you get online. Speaking of which, you're going to go to pathtosuccess.ca. You will click on course selections on that first dashboard. And then you're obviously going to select St. Thomas More Secondary School. Don't forget that you have to log in to this website and it's important for you to just keep in mind that it's usually the same login information that you use to get into your My Site. Obviously you can see that there's a Forgot Your Password tab there as well that you can click if you're having a hard time. Once you've logged in, make sure that you select from the banner School Courses. This is where you will find the courses you want to take next year, and they are organized by grade level. Grade level. So you can see in our next slide, the grade nine, grade 10, 11, and 12s, when you, search out each of the departments, 
you are going to be able to read about all kinds of courses. Here, I'm, I've pointed out the history and geography department because you need to select Canadian history for the following year. Please do not forget, as we are attending a Catholic school as a Catholic community, the expectation is that you will study religion each year you are in school. Okay, so once you have clicked on to the courses offered, as you can see, even from the, the previous slide, on the left-hand side, you've got all of the departments, and I encourage you to click on to each of those departments so that you can see what courses are offered in your grade 10 column. This is where I clicked on the religion department, and you'll see the one religion course that is offered to both grade nines and grade 10s at their grade level. It is an open level course. When you get into grade 11 and 12, you will see the open courses are still available, but additionally, you also have an M level course. What's M you say and you ask? It is a combination of both college and university levels that have come together and um, all students are able to select those courses. You'll see the third course offered in grade 12, which is an interdisciplinary studies course, and it falls under the humanities department known as genocide and crimes against humanity. We don't have to worry about that particular course right now. This is the one that you want to select. Click on it as it indicates in our banner. Notice that when we get to the next page, it's a course details. It outlines each course that you click on so that you can read about it. And then once you're satisfied with its, its explanation, then you're going to add to your backpack. Please ensure that you have selected the appropriate grade for each of the classes that you've selected. And finally, ensure that if there is a prerequisite that you have actually earned. All right, so then we get to review our selections as we choose each of our, our options to add to our backpack. And when we get to our step four, as indicated here, there's a few things I want you to look at. Uh, and four, you've got your course code. Make sure that drama in this example is what you were selecting. Often students get confused and choose the wrong course code. Make sure that you are appropriate in your grade selection. Notice the level or stream. Again, drama is open, so you don't have, there is no error to make in, in its selections. Now, Speaking of errors, do, 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 you get these red boxes that are popping up and students are freaking out. What is this? They ask and as have your parents and rightfully so. But I assure you, I assure you that as it says in this little banner, these boxes are here to alert you to confirm that you are studying in the correct stream that you are taking the prerequisite. As long as you have already taken it or it is still on your timetable, then you're fine. These courses will be added to your backpack. So like I said, do not fret. Don't fret. Your backpack begins to look like this. And as your courses continue to be added, obviously it will grow. We want you to make sure that you have added the eight courses to your backpack. And the next step would be to go to Cash Online and pay the activity fee of $45. Many have asked, what, what is this activity fee for? Well, it is for the yearbook that you receive every year. And although we don't think that there is a lot to celebrate, you'll be surprised with how much we still do as a school community. And there you go, all my fun little... Okay, due dates. February 24th, cohort A will have their information collected. 
February 25th, cohort B, along with remote learners, will have all of their information collected. How and, and where? Well, the guidance counselors, along with some of our clerical staff, will be coming to you, to your classroom, and collecting only packages that are completed. And those, those pieces include a signed option sheet that's been printed off from the Pathway site and a receipt from Cash Online for your $45 activity fee. We will not collect incomplete packages. If there is no receipt, we cannot collect it. We cannot collect cash. We cannot collect checks. Everything at this point must be paid for through Cash Online. If there are any questions, any concerns, you know how to reach me, you know how to reach other guidance counselors, either book an appointment, send an email. Your parents are also welcome to call or email to clarify any questions they may have. Our, our resource team is also working with our resource students to help um, select their aid options as well. You are on your way, St. Thomas More, and I am happy to be along for the ride. Enjoy.